Good morning and win forever, people of grace. You are welcome, beloved daughters and sons of the Most High. May God bless you for following me and for listening to all these instructions. To I thank you for seeking God's face. That yearning, eagerness in your heart to know more of God. May God bless you. May God increase your days, number of days on earth. You shall not die. Heaven, when it comes to the end, you'll be counted to be amongst the one that will be staying in the new hill that our Father will create for all the righteous ones. You will be there in Jesus' name. You have been called to change lives to other people in Jesus' name. May God bless you. Let's welcome the Holy Spirit. Father, we welcome you, Spirit of the living God, our Messiah, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. He will run, break the chains. You are sitting in our holy hill, looking at us. You got the whole world in your hand. You know where it's wrong, where there's a problem, where there are challenges. You know when our bodies are not fine because we are linked up with you. Holy Father, thank you for loving us. Thank you for protection. Thank you for going before us wherever we go. Thank you for exposing the enemy. Thank you for putting the enemy to shame. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you for the life. We are alive. We are blessed. With our families, our children, we are blessed because of your love and mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We thank you, Jehovah. We thank you, Lord of the Lord. We thank you for caring, for loving us more than ourselves. We thank you for commanding your angels to fight for us, to protect us from accident, everything, injuries every day. We love you. When we start the meeting, be with us in Jesus' mighty name. You are welcome. May God bless you. South Africa is cold. That's why we are wearing like this. It's cold. It's winter time in South Africa. My people in India, hello. God bless you. Good morning and win forever. My people of South Africa. Oh, my beloved. I salute you. I love you. Uh, Gogo Ruthie, Mama Ruthie is still with you. We are still sailing in the ship of Mama Ruthie. God bless you. God bless you. There are many to follow, but you chose me. I'm honored. May God bless you. I'm praying for you. Even now, even tomorrow. Yesterday, I'll keep on praying for you until your things are solved. May God bless you. Yes. Yeah, we are here again. Tomorrow is fasting, 6 to 6. Yes. This 6 to 6 is not like the one of half day. What you do, you wake up if you can be able to swallow and eat before 6 o'clock. Yes, you might be late, maybe by two minutes, but you must finish eating at 6. You eat whatever if you'll be eating fruits or you'll be drinking tea with bread or you want small Sorry, cup of rice. Don't eat a lot and say, I must eat, eat a lot that I, so that I must eat hunger. No, you won't hunger because I pray for you when you fast that Father God. Must fill you with what? With the Holy Spirit, not to hunger. So there's no necessary that you put the whole plate and say, so that the whole day I must be full. No, Holy Spirit must find you in and empty stomach. Once you eat in the morning, that's why it's 6 to 6, you'll be drinking water and then Holy Spirit must start to work and reactivate you like two stones. Reactivate you, revitalize, revive so that you can see more in spirit. Holy Spirit is here. It must be purified. The chest must be open and the eyes to see. So always when you fast, something is happening, but you won't see all. Yes, time will come for you to see everything during the process of fasting and prayers. God love you. So this is the instructions. You wake up and eat prayer six. Afterwards, you start to welcome your daddy, welcome your 
Father, thank you, Father, for this one, two, three, four. And when you're done, you start to do the renouncement of sins. Father, I renounce. Talk to your Father. Even the renouncement of what you did not long or where you knew that when you are young, we did a lot of things. If we can open our, or a scatter, our, our closet, hey, the skeletons will be falling. Because we did a lot. We were in dark. We didn't know that God doesn't want that. That's why now we, are, we make sure that we follow his commands. So keep on telling him you are only two, but he can listen. And it's a forgiving God. That's why when someone commits murder, next time the person is preaching, then people say, we'll never follow him. He's a killer. No, we cannot judge because now God changes. us. That's why there's a song that he lifts me up from the deep miry clay. Yes, from that clay that we were very dirty, he took it us and clean us and polish us like a rejected cornerstone by the builders. You remember? In the book of life, then he took us, he set our lives in the highway, free highway of heaven. So we all have flaws. We cannot judge. So, then afterwards, you'll be waiting for, sorry, you'll be reading your book of 79. I've been given while I'm busy preparing, opening the Bible to say what I'll be, they will be reading tomorrow. And then, they said, Psalm 39. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So you'll be reading Psalm 39. While you read, remember, I also read this sign. So God bless you while we read tomorrow. You'll be waiting for Mama Ruth's video to be posted afterwards. May God bless you. You are loved by God. And do not undermine yourself thinking that I'm not loved. I'm not God's child. No. You are still God's child. And God loves you. And sometimes he loves us more than ourselves. People of grace. Mm, While well, I'm sitting is chilly. <laughs> so God bless you. Yes. God bless you. That is the scripture uh, that we'll be reading today. Uh, tomorrow. Psalm 39. It's so short. Repeat it. And repeat it until I post something. Yes. <coughs> Forgive me. Pardon me, Maruti. So God is still on the throne. And he knows that pain. Challenges that you are facing and the pain. He knows. He knows. It's a book of Ephesians 3. We are reading Ephesians 3, uh, verse 14. We start from verse 14. Ephesians 3, 1, 2, 3. At the New Testament, we're starting from verse 14, verse 14 to 21. Ephesians 3, verse 14 to 21. A three verse. For this reason, I kneel before the Father, from whom every, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray out of his glorious riches. He may strengthen you with power, brought his spirit in your inner being. So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. Hmm. Yesterday was faith. Here again. And I pray that you being rooted and established in love. Love. And I pray that you being rooted and establish in love, in love, verse 18, may have power 
together with all holy people, meaning the love must have power in you. Love must lead. To grab how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. I'll repeat it. I pray that you are being rooted and established in love. People of grace, remember the person who was speaking here is Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul, God was communicating with him now and again. And I pray that you are being rooted and established in love. Verse 18. May love may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grab how wide and long and high and deep in the love of Christ. Apostle Paul here is praying for us. Telling us that he's kneeling before the Father. He's kneeling on behalf of every family, every house, every child. And ask God that God give them their your glorious riches. Strengthen them. Strengthen them with the power through his spirit, the spirit of Christ in us to strengthen us in weakness and challenges that the Christ my Christ and the Holy Spirit must dwell in us in our hearts through the faith, through faith and that we are being uprooted and established we in love so that we might have, we might, we must have power, we may have power together with all Lord's holy, holy people, all the Lord's holy people, you and me. He is praying that our love must be enhanced, strengthen our faith in order to overcome, to overcome the wicked one. That love, to love without limit, not to choose that I hate that one or love that one. That one I don't like. No, we must love equally. When you love a child, your child in the house, love other people's children. Though it's not easy. Hence, Mama Ruth keep on saying that we have to pray so that God must work in the heart and change it. This is the second time this week we are given this. God is still saying something. Verse 19. And to know that this love that surpasses, surpasses what? Knowledge. That you may be filled to the measure of all fullness of God. One day, I asked my son, because they are busy saying that Senior Prophet Yeshua is not a man of God. Do, do you think that he, is it true? My son, you know the youth, they are not into Christ. We pray for them. They, they are not into church. It's only few for church. And this one take advantage because I pray on you and to, on, on TV. I have my secret place to pray in the house. So, I was asking one day to hear. You know what they answer me? A person who only he, he, he like to meditate. He can meditate and prayers here, yeah, but meditation for him is how he pray anyway. And then he said, Ma, I cannot tell you if Senior Prophet Yeshua is false or, or, or what. What I want to tell you is this. Every false pastor or prophet doesn't like people, doesn't love people. They love to enrich themselves. I don't say it's like that. It's what he told me. They like to enrich themselves. There's no love for another person. They don't give, they take. As he, as, as he is, I was like, wow. Because I want check out. No. Because I want to tell you about heaven and, and a human being. People of God, I was so Looking at him, I was so shocked. Our love of a person is here in the heart. And then it's below. That's where the important part of God is. So when a person loves 
and without limit and support people and give food and make sure that I know that you are pastor, you are prophet if you show. didn't have a house he stay even in church with his family, he says he won't build a house you must take them and support the poor and that's love mama so where there's love, there's God I was like wow I was so shocked it all come from me I, I always say, oh, my mother is going to heaven. I said, why? I, I know your love. You love people. People swear at you. And the family, they swear at you sometimes and treat you bad. You said, let me go and pray for them. Arma. Sometimes when I look at you, I say, yeah, this woman. So love here is the love that Apostle Paul is praying that you must have. He said he prayed that it must be no measure. Measure must be the way God full, it fulfills God. I pray that your heart receive more love. I pray that you must love without limit. I pray that you must love until to the measure of God that God must bless you. When they treat you with evil, I pray that you treat them with love. In Jesus' name. Verse 20. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably excuse me, more than all we ask for imagine. According to his power that is at work within us. To him be the glory. To him be glory in the church and, the, and in Christ throughout all generation forever and ever. Amen. Meaning to, to those who love immeasurably, may God bless them more and more, is what Apostle Paul is saying in a simple way. So love is love. Love must be immeasurable. Let people mock you when you love. Let them call you names, but you must always bear in your mind that you shall reap more from your Papa. Papa God and Papa Jesus are looking at you. Holy Spirit is just looking at you. May God bless you for loving. May God give you more and more what you want and release unto you because of love. Love conquer. If you look in that book of... Uh, Matthew, I think. He said, Jesus Christ, when he talked to Jesus, love them, those who hate you. Continue to love, children of God. Love, even if there are mistakes, love is love. We get cross just a little bit because we are human. Afterwards, we say, oh, what can we do? Because I love this person. You are not doing wrong. You are not stupid. No. Let them take advantage of you because of love. Let them jump even in your head and do their evil works because you love. Your papa is watching. The one that created you is watching. The one who judged is watching. The one that said all oh, their days is numbered. Whoever is doing that to my child, I will do something. He's watching. And you know what? Father God doesn't say, let me just fix him now. He write down. Child of God, don't forget that every tear, because of being mistreated, every tear, whether it work or away, he, he bank them. Angels bank them in bottles. They count those tears. And the duty of the angels is to run day and night, heaven, earth, heaven, and report everything. Because of the ears, and the eyes of God. The extended ears and eyes of God. When they go, no, you won't know. Hey, hey prophetess Judy is crying a lot. Oh, prophetess Tuana, no. Oh, prophetess Audrey is having problems. Oh, prophetess Louisa. Oh, the prophets in this group of Mama Ruti, they're having problems. They are crying. They collect tears. Let them torment you and your children and your family. They shall pay in Jesus' mighty name. 
That time will come. And what Papa God does. He started by torturing them. To the extent that the pain in that person. It doesn't stop. Others will run for operation. He don't take their lives. He want to first deal with them. And repay the pains. All the pains that they were causing. You and your children and your family. Because when he take them. The, the pain will go. Though they'll go to death. He want them to pay twice. Like he was torturing you. And then now he's going to hell. It's twice. He cannot take the person. Without first letting them pay. That's why others. When they say they see that it's too much. They'll run off phone. How are you? I just wanted to say sorry. Hey, hey. Hey, for treating you. But that person said, I will never speak with you. I hate you and call you names. Keep on pressing. And I pray that you shall never lose hope. I pray that you shall never go to the false prophets and herbalists saying that God doesn't go do what I want. I pray that you'll keep and keep on fighting for you. And whatever I release and open the doors, those doors that they steal everything, no man can shut in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, tomorrow is fasting. Just do that and impress your daily. By fasting. Fasting and praying. Reading the word. Meditation. It must go together. Fasting. Read the word. Praying and meditation. And if you are weak, meditate. Father, strengthen me. I want to start fasting. I want to impress you only. Teach me all the ways. Direct me where you think you see I'm weak. Strengthen me. And God shall do it. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Do not forget the declaration every week. People of grace, I'm a child of God. Defeat and fail are things of the past. When I'm weak, he's strong for me. I know the power I'm under. Yes. I'm hidden under the shadows of his wings. You said whatever you want. His blood I was purchased. I shall not fall and I shall not die. The book of Psalm 118. I shall live to declare the works of the Lord in front of his congregation. I know the power I'm under. You do that. Every week once. Choose a day to declare. It's a day of declaration. And people of God, continue. It's only when we are fasting on Wednesday that if you don't want to read Psalm 119, but later when they wake you up, continue, especially at night. Continue to read Psalm 119 before going to bed. Like the two paragraphs, you go slowly because it's long. When we are done, you go repeatedly until I say, now it's fine. God bless you. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, here are your children. Father, bless them, O oh Lord. Bless them, Holy Spirit. Bless your children, Father God. Lion of the tribe of Judah, our Messiah, King of glory. Son of David, have mercy on them. Have mercy. I pray for mercy. I pray for mercy. Father, they press in to touch you. Like a woman with the issue of the blood. They press in to touch you. Father, have mercy on them. The light of God and the thunder of the Holy Ghost. To fill them, Lord. Father. Give them what their heart desire. What their heart desire, Lord. Father, as the first new month, Father, release breakthroughs of new month. As a new month, Lord, I pray for breakthrough. I pray for deliverance and healing. I pray for amazing breakthroughs. Father, work in them. Oh, Holy One of Israel. Father, revive and restore whatever is stolen from them. Release their breakthroughs, Lord. No darkness will steal from them. Whatever you have released, Lord, let them be sealed with the blood. The blood of the Lamb of God. Let them be sealed with the blood. The blood of the Lamb of God to restore whatever the enemy has stolen. 
to restore whatever stubborn demons and agents of Satan has stolen from them. O Holy One of Israel, bless them, Lord. More love in their heart. More love in their heart, Lord, to love without a limit. <clears throat> o Holy One of Israel, that wicked evil voices that keep on reminding them about all things. Father, let it be silenced, you wicked voices. Be silenced by the hand of God. Release the children of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By the power of the ghost, let the thunderbolts come down from heaven. And let the fire and destroy those wicked doors. And let the fire and burn those evil archives. Where they did archive their breakthroughs, archive their healing and deliverance. When you bless others in the new month, remember these ones, Lord. These ones are your sheep. Remember these ones, O oh Lord. These ones belong to you. Father, perfect in their lives. When you release breakthrough, Holy One, release breakthrough to them. When you heal others, Lord. Father, heal them, Lord. Afflictions and infirmities. Be broken and get out. Be flushed out by the blood. The blood of Jesus. Holy Father. When you remove all the challenges. And destroy those wicked evil altars. To the one that you have chosen Lord. Do not forget these ones Lord. They belong to you Lord. Remove the challenges. Remove the challenges. Destroy stubborn demons and spirits. Let them fall down and burn. Search and destroy, Lord. Uproot where there's a problem and challenges. Search and burn, O oh Lord. Perfect their lives in Jesus' mighty name. Let them receive the breakthrough. Let them receive healing and deliverance. Let them receive the light of God. Let the Father challenges go. Agent of Satan torturing and pressing them. Be silenced and be dismantled. All your powers. Be dismantled. All your powers be broken. Release them. Father, let the light search every darkness and dispel it. Be dispelled darkness. Be dispelled darkness. The hand that steal their goods, kill and distract. Be broken. Be paralyzed. Release the children of God. What a ghost, fire, search and destroy. Holy Ghost, fire, move, perfect them. Holy Ghost, fire, break those yokes, internal chain and bondages, where they are binded, Lord. Where they were bounded long time ago now. Be broken. Finance, businesses, their lives. Be broken. Release them, O oh Lord. Release them, Lord. And uproot the roots, wicked roots of darkness. And evil and challenges. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Lord we thank you. Bless them Lord. For me Lord. We honor you Lord. And your angels. We father saying thank you. To go before them. To remove all the plan of the enemy. To paralyze the wicked plan of the enemy. In their offices. Where they sit. Where they work. In their workstations. In the offices, the wall, the ceiling, their doors. Let them be marked with the cross of the blood. Their foreheads. Let them be marked with the blood of the cross of the blood of Jesus. Their houses. Where they are working in the houses. Their offices in the houses. Their businesses. I pour the blood in their businesses. For the blood to wash the blockages and the foundation, the gates of their businesses. A light of God to perfect their businesses. A light of God to restore what is was stolen in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Daddy. In their body flu system. Be flush out, poison, go. From bone cell marrow. Be flush out, poison, go. Be uprooted. No wicked pollution shall stay in their body. Be flushed out and be roasted by the blood of the Lamb. In Jesus' mighty name. Power, anointing, the glory of God, the light of God be upon you. Let there be light. Let there be light. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. God bless you. You are blessed. You are highly favored. When God releases breakthroughs for you, no one shall steal.
receive new breakthrough. New month possess breakthrough. New month carry your prosperity. No one shall steal it. Restore your destiny. Your crown, your stars be restored. No darkness, no wicked thing or end shall steal it. Let them be electrified when they attempt in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Shalom. He must bless you going out and coming back. You are highly favored. You are restored. You are God's creature. No one will change you. You have been ordained from your mother's womb until you were born, before you were even knitted like Jeremiah in Jesus' mighty name. Receive anointing. Receive anointing. Receive breakthroughs. Amen. And amen, Emmanuel. And shalom. Lastly, do not forget. And Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua said it. Friday is his birthday. And how do we celebrate his birthday? By giving. By giving. What I'm doing with my other prophet, I won't take the photos and show to you because the videos, it's long. And number two, I don't prefer that. So we will be celebrating with them the, uh, usual as usually on Thursday. Celebrate the people of grace, whoever is waking. Identify a neighbor or someone who is sick. Just go there and buy fruits for them and make a prayer going in and coming out. You don't know what you'll be doing in heaven. By visiting a neighbor or a person that is sick or not sick or an elderly or a person that they don't have food and give them even a small meal, meal and a hundred, just only a hundred rand to buy a packet of meat, prime pack of meat. You, 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 you don't know what you'll do in heaven. The blessings are starting. Because that is love. And if you have a few people to cook, arrange that on Friday, you'll be cooking, put it in the car, even 10 packets of rice and one piece of chicken meat. And you go to the street and give them. You don't know you are rewarded in heaven. So that's how our papa told us to celebrate, to go and feed people, to go and pray and give them even a packet, two loaves with soup to eat. You don't know. That person, that day you'll be eating three slices for five days or six days. Heaven, God says, when he called one woman and said, you are blessed, you can join me in my throne. The woman said, oh, well, I don't deserve to be there. I'm not a prayerful woman. I don't know even the Bible. Father God says, but you were feeding me when I was hungry. The people you fed, it was me. So people of God, let's do that. Emmanuel, God is with you.